while no one wants to be in a situation where they have to use self-defense to protect themselves, things can happen at any moment. A self-defense training program in Freeport is teaching people, especially women, those potentially life-saving skills. As News 13's Tess Rowland tells us, the matter is personal to them. But before we show you this story, we do want to warn you. The scenarios we're about to show you look extremely real, but are only simulations. Alpha Female Tactical was founded in October 2020 with one mission, to give both women and men the ability to defend themselves no matter the situation. So we offer a variety of training. Um, we do, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat self-defense. We do weapon disarmament. So if someone puts a gun to you or holds a knife at you or someone comes to, to choke you or grab your wrist, we'll teach you a variety of tactics. From tactical shooting to breaking loose from a chokehold. We need to put you for real life situations so when things really go down, you know how to react. The training is derived from Krav Hagana, a form of mixed martial arts and broken down into simple steps that can be remembered during times of need. Our style can be taught to younger people, older people. It doesn't matter your level of fitness. It doesn't matter your level of skills. Anyone can learn this because everybody has the right to be able to defend themselves. It's as easy as one, two, three. One, two, three. For founders Will and Katrina Kane, providing this training to others is personal. I personally have been a victim of random acts of violence. I have five sisters, but two of them unfortunately are not with us anymore. Um, one of them actually, she got murdered, she got strangled to death, and another one overdosed from drugs. So it's really dear to my heart that I train as many women as possible so that way they can learn how to get out of these situations. And while they don't want their trainees to live in fear, they want them to be ready for anything. In Freeport, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.